Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Here's a cooking video for you. I figured I'd make a couple parts on this one. But I'm making beef stew, and this is how I do it. Not necessarily how everybody else does it. But I uh, just wanted to tell you. So, in this pot here, we got, as you can see, potatoes. I got red skin potatoes. We got carrots. I had some uh, Roma tomatoes in the uh, fridge. And at the bottom of that, it's onions. The wife doesn't really like uh, celery, so I'm leaving that out. So I just diced that up. I'm making a small batch. I got two little onions. <clears throat> They're the yellow kind. You could use whatever you want. Like I said, I got two carrots in here. You could use more. And a couple potatoes, three of them. But I'm making a small batch, like I said. I'm probably gonna be the only one eat, uh, eating this. The wife might have some, but we'll see. Anyway. So right now, I got my uh, Dutch oven here that I uh, stole from my ex, XYL, and uh, which was a good steal. This is one of those uh, cast iron Dutch ovens with the uh, enamel on it. Always put a uh, piece of tin foil over the top of the knob if you're going to use this in the oven. Anyway, inside, let me shake this thing up. We got uh, just some chuck chuck that I just bought at the store at Acme and uh, so I'm just sauteing that now I left the lid on because I want to extract the juice that's in the in the meat and that's what's gonna make our broth up so I'm just uh, not really sauteing it but just kind of getting it cooked a little bit and I did put in a little bit of let me lid that up there I did put in a little bit of let me get it bacon grease only because I got to put something in on that uh, porcelain there. So we save our bacon grease. We usually put it in the uh, oven to make our bacon. <clears throat> and then we uh, put some tin foil down on a cookie sheet. And we save the grease. And I keep it in this mason jar in the refrigerator. So I put a couple scoops down there. And then I, man, it smells good. And then I put that down in there. So part two, I'll have all the uh, vegetables in. And I'll talk about putting in uh, liquids, uh, what liquids you want to put in. Um, actually, you know what? I might actually do that pretty soon here. But yeah, we'll, we'll uh, part two will be the liquid part and uh, the cooking time. So anyway, this is uh, Mike Cricket 113, making beef stew. Have a good one.